And now, if you're hungry for entertainment news, we've got you covered tonight. Rachel Stern joins us now. For an appetizer, let's serve up the box office preview. Have a need for speed? Are you in a mood for a good laugh? Or do you just want to stare at Joseph Gordon-Levitt for two hours? I have the latest scoop on the newest movies to hit the theaters tonight. Signed by Ferrari. Chris Hemsworth lives life in the fast lane in Rush. He plays James Hunt, a charismatic race car driver on the international circuit. He meets his match in Austrian adversary Nicky Lauda, a calculating perfectionist who is Hunt's opposite in many ways. This true story details the frantic Formula One showdown between the two in the 1970s, which pushed both to the brink of death. I'm going back to Swallow Falls to destroy the Flintstone, which is creating deadly food monsters. Flint Lockwood returns to Swallow Falls and Cloudy with a chance of meatballs too. Lockwood is the quirky inventor voiced by SNL's Bill Hader. He created a food machine in the first film that went haywire and destroyed the town. Now he's back amid reports of food animals, but may not survive confrontations with chimpanzees and taco dials. Can't go to my little sister's wedding single. Paula Patton is on the fast track to matrimony in Baggage Claim. She's thrown for a loop after her little sister gets engaged. So the flighty flight attendant uses her job to accidentally meet up with traveling ex-boyfriends in hopes she'll find a keeper. My body, my pad, my ride, my family. Joseph Gordon-Levitt gets his priorities straight in Don John. He's a Jersey boy obsessed with pumping iron, keeping his apartment clean, and pornography. But things change after he meets Scarlett Johansson and has to explain his secret compulsion. Don John was written and directed by Levitt. Criticschoice.com gave Don John three out of four stars, while Baggage Claim got zero. Joseph Gordon-Levitt for the win. A Jacksonville student who also performed at UF's Dance Marathon last year is making her way to stardom. Ryan Page has landed a spot on the hit talent reality show, X Factor. Simplify Stores hosting an intimate performance this Sunday to raise money for her journey. Jamie Davis, who's a great singer from right here in the area, came to me and said, hey, you got you to gotta hear the story about this girl. And she's working really hard to live her dream, and I think we can kind of help her get here. The 13-year-old country singer who Simon Cowell compared to Carrie Underwood is performing this Sunday night at 6 p.m. All donations will go to Ryan's family to help cover traveling costs throughout her X Factor experience. Two big actors went head-to-head -head for the return to the small screen last night. I'm back. You ready to get serious? Mark and Mindy star Robin Williams stars in the CBS comedy The Crazy Ones, the story of a larger-than-life advertising genius whose unorthodox methods and unpredictable behavior would get him fired. If he weren't the boss. Also on the show, Buffy favorite Sarah Michelle Gellar. Whitney is sort of the... Who's got Alzheimer's? I've actually got Parkinson's. Either way. Over on NBC, Family Ties heartthrob Michael J. Fox returns in The Michael J. Fox Show as one of New York's most beloved news anchors who put his career on hold after being diagnosed with Parkinson's. Five years later, he decided to return to work in the new studio despite his challenges. Williams vs. Fox, who came out on top? Robin Williams. The Michael J. Fox Show had 7.3 million viewers overall, while The Crazy Ones had over double with 15.6 million viewers overall. You know, ladies, I think the reason that Michael J. Fox didn't come out on top was because of Parkinson's. I don't really think people want to remember him that way. What you do know, you think? I actually think his role in the show as a person with Parkinson's actually makes it super interesting to me. It definitely like, reminds me of Dick Clark in the mm -hmm. New Year's Eve show. I, I love that show. But. And, you know, a little hard to watch him in his exactly. final days. Yeah. Exactly. Well, thank you, Rachel. And as Deborah mentioned earlier, a beautiful evening is in store for us here in North Central Florida. This weather makes me so happy. <laughs> Literally, my favorite part is the cool breeze. I haven't felt one in the longest time. It's awesome. Here's a time lapse outside of our WRUF studio.